This dog was found starving to death on a remote island, but six months on, she's a different animal. After the rush of David Foster's daily life, it was a relief to be on holiday, in the Amazon no less. That's why what he saw next struck him so strange. Was that an emaciated dog on a nearby beach in the middle of nowhere? And then the bag of bones ran towards him. Foster from Northern Ireland in the UK isn't a man prone to sitting still. His daily job, which involves equipment for the medical industry, requires a lot of traveling. But he also has a fulfilling personal side project focused on his real love dogs. In December 2017, Foster told website I Heart Dogs how he first decided to combine his work and his passion. All this traveling is boring, so I would go to local animal shelters wherever I may be and give a few toys or balls for their animals. With the help of his friends and relations, these acts of animal kindness took on their own momentum. Whenever Foster went away on business, people donated toys for him to give to shelters. In time, he had social media followers sending gifts to take too. The upshot was that Foster had enough regular donations to form a charity called Play for Strays. And after months of hard work combined with shelter visits, the animal lover decided to take a well-earned break. His holiday, of course, was a relaxing cruise up the Amazon in Brazil. The dream vacation took Foster to some isolated places, a big change from the hustle and bustle of his normal routine. When we stopped at this random island, the plan was to go swimming and snorkeling, then have lunch, he told iHeart Dogs. Idyllic, really. Foster spotted an unusual shape from the boat that he initially dismissed as driftwood. Closer inspection with binoculars, however, revealed that the object wasn't beach debris at all. I could tell immediately that it was a dog, Foster recalled, but the boat owner didn't seem concerned. The boat owner initially thought the dog's owners were likely to be nearby. Until he did some reconnaissance with his drone, which confirmed the boat was at least two hours travel from the nearest settlement. Foster described the dog's moving reaction when it noticed him. As the guys who were snorkeling came back on the rowboat, the dog plunged into the water. Foster told iHeart Dogs, He left the boat and met the dog on the beach. It was a pitiful sight, and I'm surprised she had the energy to swim so far. Foster said the dog was crying, which almost brought him to tears as well. When he got a better look at the castaway, who he noticed was female, Foster realized just how dire her condition was. He predicted she was perhaps 48 hours away from death. The abandoned dog was stick-thin, infested with ticks and fleas, and had suffered cuts to her ears as well. She had apparently been abused, and exposure to the scorching sun had taken its toll too. It was a mark of her poor condition that vultures were tracking her in expectation of a meal. No way could I leave her there to fend for herself. No way, Foster told iHeart Dogs. He and another of the boat's passengers called the dog Negrita, a Spanish term of endearment which translates to cute little black girl. Then they convinced the boat's catering staff to feed her. The boat staff agreed to take Negrita with them to get her medical attention. Finding the dog a vet, however, proved to be difficult. Foster had to treat Negrita's parasites with store-bought pet medicine. The castaway also charmed some kind-hearted children from nearby villages who helped bathe her and remove her ticks. By the time Foster found Negrita medical care, he would already fallen hopelessly in love with her. I have decided to get her to the UK, he told iHeart Dogs. Dogs are not loved here like we do in the UK, and my heart wouldn't allow her to stay. It wasn't entirely up to him, though. When Foster finally found a veterinarian in Centaurum Town, the vet told him that Negrita's fate would depend on her test results. Her tests included canine leishmaniasis and cinnamosis, the animal lover informed iHeart Dogs. If Negrita had contracted leishmaniasis, the vet would have no option but to put her to sleep. Foster had to wait a day for the dog's results, which he described as the longest 24 hours of my life. The wait was worth it, though. The vet gave her the all-clear.
Foster focused on the final phase of Negrita's journey completely even cutting short the rest of his planned Amazon adventure Negrita was in good hands in the meantime though the rescuers play for strays contacts found her a loving temporary home Additionally foster found further support from social media Play for strays followers help provide foster with financial support via crowdfunding the gargantuan effort paid off because on February 26 2018 foster made an announcement he expects to have a confirmed travel date for his Amazon girl very soon Asked for the rationale behind his decision to do so much to save one animal Foster told iHeart dogs. I've seen hundreds of dogs in shelters, but they're safe fed and hopefully loved Stray dogs in cities are also a prevalent sight, but they can potentially find food Foster said he felt a special connection with this castaway Negrita was beaten and left for dead in a place where she couldn't survive he explained she wasn't a stray she was abandoned to die and chose me to save her it may take time but I'll do it 